Now to talk about it all, Molly Rivera from Planned Parenthood. So Molly, thanks so much for joining us. How will this new law impact Planned Parenthood as an organization and its clients? Good morning, thank you for having me. It's a dark day in North Carolina. When the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last summer, we warned that this General Assembly would try to ban abortion. And that's exactly what they've done last night. We are completely heartbroken and outraged, but our health center doors remain open and we're not going anywhere. Now there is a counseling element with this bill. So how will you inform your clients or potential clients about the new law and its regulations? This is one of the biggest impacts for patients as part of this monster abortion ban. Right now, patients can come into a clinic in person one time to receive a medication abortion. Under this law, they will have to come twice, maybe three times for standard health care that the FDA says can be safely provided over telehealth. So we will need to be working with patients to make sure they are able to come into the clinic at least twice in order to get their medication abortion. And this is what we really see as a significant barrier for patients and potentially an insurmountable one, especially for patients who live in rural parts of the state. And Molly, more and more states are considering restrictions on abortion access. So in your opinion, how does this impact reproductive rights of women, especially here in those southern parts of the country? This is going to decimate access to abortion across the South. Since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the South has been experiencing a public health crisis exacerbated by ban after ban after ban. North Carolina has been one of the last access points for abortion care in this region. And now we fear that it will be out of reach, not only for people who call the state home, but for the many people who have been traveling here out of state for care. If a person has driven here more than nine hours overnight across state lines for an abortion, how do we expect that they would be able to come into a clinic in person for their consultation wait at least 72 hours and then come back for their actual appointment. This will be an insurmountable barrier for many folks. Molly Rivera from Planned Parenthood, thank you for joining us today. Thank you.